look who's awake. I thought you were going to sleep through the whole damn day. Did I really tire you out that much? <laughs> well, I guess that's a compliment in its own way. I wanted to get a start on things before it gets too hot. I was busy most of the week. Didn't really get a chance to work on the yard at all. And I guess that's what the weekend is for. What was that for? I love you too. Now do you plan on helping me or just distracting me? I've got a lot I want to get done today. I've got a shitload of plants I want to get in place, and I want to get the digging done before the sun starts beating down on this part of the yard. I showed you the plants I mocked up, and you agreed with them, so you should already know what I'm going to do. Which means, either you weren't paying attention when you said you liked the plans, or you're falling back on what's apparently a hobby of yours. Asking questions you know the answer to. <laughs> well, if you were paying attention, then I guess it's option number two. In which case, the million dollar question is, why are you asking a question you know the answer to? I do not light up when I talk about things I like. What does that even mean? That is not a thing. Well, fine, it's a thing. But it's not a thing I do. I, I didn't say it was a bad thing. It's just... I, I, I don't do that. And because I don't, there's no point in going over the plan again. All right. Fine. I'll humor you. As usual. <laughs> for kisses, but called for or not, they were nice. Now, if you actually want me to walk you through what I'm doing here, keep your lips to yourself, or at least keep them off my mouth. No, that was not an invitation, perv, we're out in the open. I know there are walls, but I don't know. We have neighbors. Do you want to hear about the plans or not? Good. Then be quiet and listen to things I know you're capable of, at least in theory. Not that you practice them much. <laughs> Stop it. I am not cute when I'm flustered, and I'm not flustered. Is this your version of helping with the landscaping? Because at this rate, I'll be lucky to be done by next year. If you keep acting like a troublemaker, I'm going to have to go tire you out again just to get some progress done and to get a little peace and quiet. <sighs> Which I realize is just threatening you with a good time, no doubt. on the 
this today, Angel. I've been meaning to get it done, and I want to do that this weekend. Thank you. All right. The plan is as follows. They hardscaped the whole yard with gravel, which is a pain in the ass. It has its place, but I don't like it. The house where I grew up had grass and plants and trees. I want that again. It's going to have to happen in stages, but we'll get there. The first thing I plan on doing is clearing the rock work away from that south wall so that I can get down to the actual dirt. Then I can start digging for the plants I want to put there. They're kind of viney shrubs, so they should grow up against the wall and eventually cover it, which I'm all for. I want to see greenery, not cement block walls. I want the place to feel natural. Right now it's just gravel and concrete with a pool in the middle of it. So today, I want to make some progress on that. I also want to clear a couple of other spots of gravel so that I can put the trees there. Yeah, they're over on the side of the house there. They're not very big yet, maybe four feet high. But they should hook up pretty quickly if we take care of them right. I'm getting, getting irrigation set up together too, but that's going to have to be another weekend. Just the clearing and the digging and then planting is probably going to take up the better part of both of these days. Especially when I account for distraction time from you. I do not grumble. Maybe I do grumble, but it's your fault. <laughs> you would like it, you weirdo. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited for how it'll look. I think it'll make a big difference. The inside already feels good. We've got it looking like... us. But we haven't really touched anything out here yet, and it shows. I'm glad we're gonna change that. Besides, I like the work. I don't like the heat, I'll say that. And you're not going to see me at this in the middle of the day. I'm going to be taking a well-deserved break until the sun backs off a bit again. But the work, in general, the physical act of the digging and the planting and the rebuilding, it's... Well, not to sound like some after-school special, but it's rewarding. I like being able to step back at the end of the day and look over everything I did. See the impact I had with my own two hands. See how I can make something look nice by putting in the effort. It feels good. 
And in this case, it's something that lasts. Every time we come out back, we'll be able to see the work we did. With every year that passes, the plants will grow and the trees will get taller. And it'll be because of what we did. What we made together. That's special to me. It's our place. I want to make it ours. Yeah. Those are the ones I bought for the south wall. They're honeysuckles. They come in a couple different colors, so I got some of each. I figured the variety would be nice. There were a lot of them at my dad's old house. He said my mom liked them, that she was the one who had planted them. That's why there were so many. Hummingbirds love them. There are always a lot of them flying around the yard when they were in bloom. He said she loved them too. I don't remember much about her, but when I see them, I think of her. So I figured we'd plant some here. Plus, they smell good, and they're good in the heat. So, they're a pretty easy plant to take care of. Seemed like a good fit. We had a couple citrus trees at the old house too. So, those are the ones that I got. Again, they're good in this climate, so that was a good fit. Plus the flowers smell nice, especially the orange blossoms. Kind of takes me back. Yeah. They were good times. I still remember the time Asher fell out of the orange tree when we were kids and broke his arm. <laughs> yeah. He was being a dipshit, as usual. Climbing out too far onto one of the branches, even though I told him it would break. Fucker was in the middle of making some joke about being featherweight when the damn thing snapped. And even after he landed and his arm broke, he was still trying to crack jokes while I was scrambling to figure out how to help him. He still loves to tell it that I was the one who was worried, even though he was the one with a broken bone. To which I usually reply, he was too busy playing the funny guy act to notice the seriousness of the situation. And then he says some line about how it barely even hurt. I tell him he's full of shit. And the cycle continues. <laughs> no, he was fine. Milo's mom is pretty good with healing magic, and it wasn't a very bad break, so she was able to take care of it. She's one of the only members in the pack to really bother learning much magic, but it's definitely come in handy in the past. I mean, we all had plenty of scratches and bruises for her to practice on when we were growing up. <laughs> and meanwhile, you managed to get me on a tangent that is wasting valuable morning time. Mm -hmm.
yes, you're forgiven. <laughs> now, do you plan on helping, or are you just going to watch? <sighs> oh, I'm sure I make quite the show. I could take my shirt off if you really want something to gawk at. When the heck is that heart of yours racing? Does watching your man get physical do it for you? Hot and sweaty out in the sun. And then maybe a dip in the pool. Stripping down. Cooling off. <laughs> Thought so. Well, then how about you earn it, troublemaker? <laughs> you are going to make breakfast? No, it's, it's not a complaint. It's shock. <laughs> a few months ago, I could barely get you to step foot in the kitchen if it wasn't straight to the microwave. What a change time can make. Hmm. All right. I'll get started on the digging then. Let me know when the food's ready. And then, afterward, maybe we can do some planting together. Good. Thank you, Angel. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking my shirt off. <laughs> You've got a window in the kitchen. You provide the breakfast, and I'll provide the show. <laughs> Just don't stare so long you burn something, okay? <laughs>